Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from Infrares. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do a quick take on Powell's testimony. He came out um, also during uh, Bank of Canada's um, rate decision. And it's a couple of things out there. Um, it was basically the same as what he's been saying for some time. You know, he said that we would like to have more confidence on inflation. We have some confidence but want more. Inflation data will determine when rate cuts begin. The little bit more data sounds like May 1st is more of a possibility. Uh, according to some analysts, they feel that that's, that may sound like May 1st may be the first cut. Um, then uh, the 24% chance of a cut priced in by the market. But I don't think so. I don't think May is going to be... Um, the month where you'll get the rate cut, I think it will be after that. Um, also mentions that uh, the number of cuts this year will depend on the economy. We are seeing solid signs of growth, which should continue. I don't think risk of a recession is elevated right now. We are on a good path so far in being able to achieve dual mandate. We are making sure banks with commercial real estate sector exposure can manage any losses. This fallout will last over next several years. Wants to see some good inflation readings, not looking for better inflation readings that we've had, looking for more of what we've seen. So the same stuff that he's been saying before, right? And very interesting that he mentions we are making sure banks with commercial real estate sector exposure can manage any losses and it says that it doesn't see risk of inflation elevated right now basically telling you that all this exuberance that's been going on right now the economy's handling it um and the markets are exuberant because you know they see signs of solid growth and growth continues to be strong and there's possibility of maybe rate cuts even though as the economy continues to be strong right so uh main takeaway from this is just that you know uh it's the same thing as what the fed's been saying and you know they've been in pause mode they're going to continue to be in pause mode they're going to continue to be data dependent now if inflation or prices start to tick up they're going to push the idea of rate cuts later and later and later which again means that you know they can they can expect some sort of um you know um reaction in the markets if if that's the case right and we did hear from bostic we did hear from other uh fed members saying that they wouldn't mind to see a cut and then a pause after right until when <laughs> until when the massive rate cuts are needed if this commercial real estate uh, fiasco gets really bad. Let's also not forget that on March 11th, that's when the BTFP ends in the U.S. And um, that means less funding, liquidity for the banks and especially the regional banks. Not saying that 11th is going to be the day where everything, you know, riles up. But you could expect later in the year that someone to feel the pain without the BTFP, right? And um, again, also, there's been some forecasts from many economists that feel that um, maybe the Fed may not even do any rate cuts, right? Um, and even if they do, they could do just one because the economy is resilient, it's strong. So the economy is resilient and strong and they expect, you know, a tick up in inflation. Why do you think May is the month where they're going to cut rates? I don't think so. I think what's more likely is maybe July, August, September around there, maybe, maybe we'll see, but um, it all depends. Now, although yes, they penciled in three rate cuts, they can definitely change, which they have done in the past before. So anyways, that's my quick takes there. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like and hit the, um, hit the like button, the bell icon to be notified on the next video and leave a comment below and I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.